Welcome back to Marlins Live. As promised, Tim Mason, the lone gutsy cameraman out there. He is, the only cover he has is that Publix green bag that he brought with him. And there he, we're over here. Just wave to us. There you go. Hanging in there to give us all the shots of the rain coming down here. It is letting up just a little bit here at uh, Sun Life Stadium. All right, right next door here, Calder, my partner Jeff Conai with a terrific uh, celebrity Poker Championship the other day. We're going to get your thoughts in a moment, Jeff, but first let's let the fans in on what happened the other night that raised a lot of money for the Conine Clubhouse. Here's Frank Fort with more. Go, Peelers. Shuffle up and deal. And with that, the first ever Jeff Conine Celebrity Poker Classic at the Calder Racecourse and Casino was underway. Jeff called on Marlins players and other local sports celebrities to help raise funds for the Conine Clubhouse at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, capitalizing on the current poker craze. Do you watch poker or do you just like to play? Um, well, ask my wife, and uh, at night, if she wants to go to sleep, that's when I put the poker on. She goes to sleep, and I actually sit there and watch it for hours on end. I've avoided watching all the TV stuff on poker, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in uh, with my eyes uh, with my eyes closed and just see what happens. Looks like you have a short stack there. Nothing personal, but <laughs> you haven't even started yet. I mean, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Well, I've, been accused, I've been accused of having a short stack my whole life, so <laughs> let's leave it at that. Red Deer Randy Moeller. Now that sounds like a poker name. You, you're a you're a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing here. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What a great event. Uh, you know, Jeff's done a great job and, and, and the sponsors that he has here. And what a, what a great turnout as well. Hopefully they raise a lot of money. It's a lot of fun. I love playing poker. You know that. Oh, yeah. So uh, this is right up my alley. Much like sports, poker can feature aggressive or conservative strategies. Uh, I'm be conservative. <laughs> be nice and tight. Okay. <laughs> now, if you had to play Conine head to head, would you be more aggressive? Yeah, I'd beat him. No problem. Yes, I, I will say that I've played a little poker, at, um, you know, the house games and things like that. But, you know, we'll see how I do. Are you an aggressive player or conservative or somewhere in the middle? I can't tell you that. You can't? I cannot. I think you're bluffing me. I, <laughs> I cannot reveal that information. You'll just have to watch and see when I'm at the final table. Four fours taking home some chips at uh, table 16. As you can see, this first ever Conine Celebrity Poker Classic, it was a full house, and hopefully the Conine Clubhouse over at the DiMaggio Hospital will be flush with funds after the event is over. But enough with the poker puns. It's for a very serious cause, and that goes to fight pediatric cancer. If everybody can have a little bit of fun while they're giving up some money for a great cause, well, that's the best of all worlds. We've had the golf tournament for 18 years now, and we wanted another event to be able to help uh, raise more funds and we didn't think that another golf tournament would fly so with how hot poker has been over the last few years we thought uh, our good friends here at Calder uh, teamed up and, and said we've got a bunch of seats we could sell and, and the turnout's been outstanding. I'm a cautious player until I get tired and then I get stupid and I, I, make, I make dumb moves. If you last me out and I get tired you're gonna get me. Well, it was uh, quite a night. I had a chance to MC it, Jeff. Great job. Tell us the details there because it was a big night for everybody. Yeah, you know, we, we put this thing together. We didn't even start talking about it until May. It came together very quickly and very seamlessly. It was You would never have known it was our first year doing this mm -hmm. event. Uh, we grossed $75,000 uh, and netted $63,000. Wow. So hats off to all the sponsors. Hats off to you, Craig, for sticking it out till like 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> the final night. table we got done about 12.30 in the morning. Uh, we gave away five thousand dollars in cash for the first prize and um you know what it was uh something that i think we got great feedback and we're going to do it again next year you should uh, by the way ricky nolasco knocked out less than 10 minutes yeah Very way, way earlier than me i think you might be able to beat him after that effort very poor effort in the uh, charity tournament more coming up in a moment come on come and discover the volkswagen quality that you